Good morning. <laughs> the American Legion and Mobile Construction Battalion 6 of the American Navy Seabees welcomes you all here today. This will be the 53rd year that it's been my honor to marshal this parade. I am the senior marshal in the state of Connecticut. And therefore, you'll do what I ask you to do. <laughs> the program here says remarks by the adjutant. That goes without saying. I'm going to talk today a little bit about heroes. We know about the heroes in the medical field, our doctors, our nurses. We know about the heroes in our first responders. We know about the heroes of our wonderful law enforcement people, our wonderful law enforcement people. <laughs> However, there are other heroes. They are like the angels. They are all among us. They are the heroes of our educational system that strive so hard to educate our youth to be competitive in this global economy. The heroes of our students and our scouts, which adhere to the rules and learn to be better citizens. The heroes of mom and dad who listen to, oh no, I don't want to, you're old fashioned, I want to get a tattoo, I want to pierce my tongue. Yeah, right, yeah. We didn't pierce our tongue when we went on to Omaha Beach. The only thing there was hot lead. But we went there for freedom. The heroes, mom and dad, the heroes, of the people that get up every day and go to work, be better Americans, pay their taxes, make us a stronger nation. Each and every one of you here today is a hero, and I salute you all. You're paying attention, that's very good. <laughs> I'd like to call upon Dr. Calvin Jones. He's the pastor of the Copper Hill Methodist Church at the West Granby Methodist Church to lead us in the invocation. Dr. Jones. Woo! Very privileged to be here today. Let us pray. Oh God. We gather together today with reverend thanksgiving on behalf of Native Americans who are here before us, 
a people descended from our Pilgrim Fathers who founded our great state of Connecticut. And on behalf of all who have come to our shores since, whatever their race or creed, we give thanks. Thank you for the freedom and prosperity that we enjoy. And on this Memorial Day, we thank you especially for those who have made the ultimate sacrifice down through the years in order that we might continue to be free. May our remembrances today bring them honor. May our hearts be humble. And may we be moved in this time to live worthy as citizens of the United States of America. Amen. Thank you, Doctor. I'd like to, at this point, introduce our first selectman, another group of heroes, our politicians who serve for the betterment of our town, of their time and energy to make Granby a better town for each and every one of us, for our children, for our children's children. Please welcome Scott Cooley, our first selectman. <coughs> Thank you. Good morning. I may be the first selectman, but Jim Hall is the mayor of Granby, <laughs> and we thank you for your service. And it's my honor to introduce the members of your board of selectmen, Vice Chairman Sally King. <laughs> Selectman Mark Newman. Selectman Ed O'Hannison. And Selectman Glenn Ballard could not be here. And our student liaison, John Bell. I'd also like to recognize our acting town manager, uh, Bill Smith, who's somewhere out there. So if we could give Bill and thank Bill for coming back to help us. Our Chief of Police, Carl Rosenswick. And lastly, a special thank you to our standard bearers, Ashley Hodgkin. And Matthew Hodgkin. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Good job. Heroes. They're all around us. Heroes. Because of COVID and many things, we do not have the high school band with us. We do have the superintendent of schools, and I probably would not want to be the high school band director next week, but uh, that's another story. <laughs> um, we will have with us this morning a talented young vocalist from the high school, the Granby Memorial High School Chorus, who will render our national anthem. I would like to call McKenna Ryan to lead us in our national anthem. McKenna. That our 
Isn't that wonderful? There's, a, there's an America, right there. We were very fortunate this year for our main speaker, Dr. Jordan Grosso, educated, true American. He's our superintendent of schools. He has with us a contingent of our future citizens. I'd like to call upon and introduce Dr. Grossman as our main speaker. Doctor. Thank you. American Revolution, 4,435 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. War of 1812, 2,260 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Indian Wars, 1,000 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Mexican War, 1,733 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Civil War, 140,414 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Spanish-American War, 385 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. World War I, 53,402 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. World War II, 291,557 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Korean War, 33,739 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Vietnam War, 47,000 434 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Desert Shield, Desert Storm, 148 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Global War and Terror, approximately 5,460 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. Approximately two dates, 500 and 81,694 American soldiers lost their lives in battle. The greatest tribute we can offer those who died for our country is to never forget them. I would like everyone to reflect with me in honoring Memorial Day with mark one major theme that believe sums up what this day stands for never forget. I'm deeply touched, humbled, and honored to be asked to speak to you about to one of the most special days in our country's history, Memorial Day. We are gathered here to honor all those men and women who lost their lives serving our country. We knew them as brothers, sisters, husbands, wives, children, and as friends. They gave us hope and faith for a better future. As we remember these heroes of the past, I also ask you to keep those who are currently serving our country and their families in your thoughts and prayers. We must also remember the missing in action and prisoners of war who have not returned home as well as those families. Today, I stand before you with a plea to join me in educating our younger generation to never, ever forget the importance of Memorial Day. I know there are many children and young adults here today. I am joined right next to me by Mrs. Sessions, first grade class of Kelly Lane Primary School. I encourage all parents, guardians, families, grandparents, educators, and veterans to talk to our young people about what this day stands for, and that, is not, that it is just not a day off from school. We must promise to teach and to educate 
our future generation on the importance of remembering those who've lost their lives for our country. We must tell the stories of the heroism, courage, valor, and commitment to serve. On the 10th anniversary to the day of Granby Memorial High School graduate, Army Specialist, Richie Emmons, who died on May 31st, 2011, while serving as the driver on a mounted patrol in Logo Province, Afghanistan, when his vehicle was hit by a rocket-propelled grenade. I took the opportunity last week to spend time with Richie's mom, Janice Hogan, and she is here with me today in her family. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. Please use Richie and his family as an example of never forgetting. We must never forget as a Grammy community Richie Emmons, and always keep his family and friends in our thoughts and prayers. I would like to take this opportunity to share with you a quote in Richie's high school yearbook from one of his favorite country music songs on his senior page. Scars heal, glory fades, and all you're left with are the memories made. Pain hurts, but only for a moment. Your life is short, so go ahead and live it. Richie Emmons. This Memorial Day and every day, may we never forget those who died and may we never fail to live up to what they stood for. It is so important to remember their families, their friends, and those who love them, their sacrifices, and what they stood for can never be forgotten. For those men and women who served our country to the highest level, simple remembrance and memorials are not enough. In recent years, a collective shift in thinking has transpired. A new awareness to the sacrifices our military members are making is emerging, becoming ingrained part of our American experience. We must build on this theme of never forgetting. In the words of Kelly Lane primary school first grade students, Jeremiah, Memorial Day means to me, we celebrate people that have died in the past by honoring and remembering them. Please never forget. First grade student, Trenton, Memorial Day means to me, honoring people who served and died for our country. First grade student Matthew, Memorial Day means to me, never forget the people who died for our country. First, first grade student Avonlea, Memorial Day means to me, we celebrate people that have died in the past, honoring and remembering our veterans, a day to honor Americans who have died in military service. First grade student Charlotte, Memorial Day means to me, never forget the people who served our country in the military service, and never forget the people who died for our country. At this time, when Mrs. Sessions' first grade class at Kelly Lane Primary School, I would like to present each of you with a yellow ribbon to mark and symbolize all the troops who've lost their lives in expression of hope that all our troops will return safely and soon. So Mrs. Sessions class, please do what you need to do.
We're back. Please keep this ribbon as a, sim a symbol of the theme of never forgetting and what Memorial Day stands for. Please and keep and wear this ribbon with pride to honor the troops from Connecticut who are presently serving overseas and to honor all our brothers and sisters who lost their lives forgetting for our country. It is so important that we never forget. Memorial Day, a day we join together as a nation to give our collective appreciation and remembrance to all those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. May we never forget them, and may we always have a special place in our hearts for them. Thank you. Granger's a very unique town. Very unique. We're full of heroes. We're all around us. You are our heroes. Other towns in the valley aren't doing Memorial Day today. Our capital city, Hartford, hasn't had a Memorial Day in years, but they enjoy the freedoms you wonder about where they're putting the priorities. I'd like to call upon the chaplain of the American Legion to escort our honorary parade marshal, Morris Prasad, to the podium. Chaplain. Morris J. Broussard was born many years ago. <laughs> but he still turns out for Memorial Day. This gives us food for thought for Hartford, doesn't it? Born in Brookfield, Vermont, a small town known for its floating bridge. Walt was the fifth of a family of nine children Raised on a farm, which meant there was plenty of hard work at an early age, teaching responsibilities. Both served, he and his brothers served in the armed forces. A sister also served in the Navy as a nurse. Morris joined the U.S. Army Air Corps, later into the U.S. Air Force. He was assigned as a communication officer in a hot location in the Pacific Islands. Very important for our communications for our Pacific forces. After his discharge, Morris moved to Connecticut. He worked for the American Can Corporation and then he established his own very successful manufacturing business and he ran it until his retirement in 96. He has been a member in good standing of the American Legion Post in Granby for 62 years. He has served as a finance officer, carries the title of life member, senior finance officer of the American Legion. Under his tutorship, the American Legion Scholarship Trust Fund was established, where it had been thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars delivered to our graduating seniors for their college education through his grand efforts. Legionnaire Morris, please uncover. Will the chaplain please present Mo the American Legion Citizenship Medal? Congratulations.
I'd like to introduce the American Legion citizen, Morris Versailles. into the solemn portion of this, I'd like to call upon the wreath bearers from all the organizations to come forward in front of the color guard and to lay our wreaths. Scott Lear, lay your wreath over here, please. Stand in place after you reflect such a reef. fulfill thy promise of peace to all nations. Allow us to set the example by actions of righteousness and humanity. Keep us from temptation and deliver us from evil. For if any of us shall fall, let all remember each of our sacrifices so Americans will not be as ignorant of the cost of freedom, American freedom. Let them honor us by guiding our countrymen to follow and protect our great nation by thy teachings and guidance. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. We now will call upon the American Legion rifle team to fire the salute of our fallen heroes. Rifle team, fire your salute.
You guys run the cat. Spread hand salute. Again, we would like to call upon Dr. Calvin Jones to lead us in the benediction. Yes. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, source of grace and life eternal, inspire us today to remember and to act. May the atmosphere of freedom and the example of democratic and constitutional government which we enjoy and for which these we honor today gave their lives continue to ever be a light shining in our world. And may we of today's generations display the levels of civic and moral responsibility that are proportionate to the privileges that we enjoy. And then, by your grace, we will build up and defend our land and properly remember these who have passed. We will enrich our heritage by actively caring for people of all ages, welcoming newcomers, and showing respect to all. O oh God, may we be blessed with your peace in our hearts, in our families, in our community, in our world. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. held off for your heroes. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful country. We are blessed. We are all blessed to have the freedom of peace and equality. Peace and respect for each other. I want to thank the Marquis of Granby Fife and Drum for providing such wonderful music. Thank you all. If they must leave us for another commitment, you may leave your, you may be excused now. Before we reassemble. Go ahead.
Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to call upon Pike Sergeant Major Steve Moore, Hyper District Pike Band, to present a Pike Tune. Pike Band. said. The words that First Lickman Scott Cooley said to you. Look around at the small flags where the heroes that aren't with us anymore sleep. Think about the freedoms that you enjoy because of the heroes. Not only the heroes in uniforms, but the heroes that are amongst you. And thank you all. I wish you all God's blessings. May God bless you and your family. And may God bless our wonderful America. Thank you all.